First, I'm going to start with taking a piece of scotch tape and placing that on the side of my eye. I want it to follow the natural curve of my lower lash line, so I'm going to just place it there, leaving a little space right at the outer corner of my eyelid for blending when it comes time to blend that into your lower lash line. I'm going to start out with my Essence Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. This is the lightest color they have, and it's really going to make my smoky eye pop with this light background. I'm going to be using my Modern Renaissance Anastasia Eye Palette for this look, I'm jumping into the lightest shade, and I'm going to pack that onto my lid as a nice powdery base to avoid any creasing of the primer in the future. Next, I'm going to be taking this warm taupe color and blending that into the crease of my eyelid. Now I'm going to be taking my Sigma E40 blending brush and going back in with that same warm taupe color and blending out the placement. Make sure to blend this out into that outer corner as well. Next, I'm going to be jumping in with my IT Cosmetics No Tug Gel Liner and placing that right along the lash line of my upper lashes. Since this is a smoky eye, this does not have to be perfect, so don't worry about precision here. Just make sure it's right along that upper lash line. Also want to make sure you're tight lining with this black as well to get any of those gaps where the color might not be. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out that black eyeliner that we placed just so the black eyeshadow blends a bit better once we place that on top. Now I'm going to come in with my Shade to Light Kat Von D palette using my Sigma Blending E25 brush to go into that black eyeshadow color in the Kat Von D palette and really packing that onto the lid. I recommend doing this look before you do your foundation in case there is any fallout. Taper that black eyeshadow out in a sort of a wing fashion. Try to keep the black right along the crease of your eye lid. Now I'm going to take my Color Just Shadow Blending Brush. This brush is a little bit stronger than my Sigma Blending Brush because I want to keep the pigment a little more in one centralized area. I'm going to come back into the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to dip into Golden Okra, which is a nice yellow color. I'm going to blend that along where the black starts on my eyelid. Now I'm going to be using my Color Just Pencil Liner Brush and I'm going to be placing the color Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance Palette and putting that right along where those two colors meet. I'm going back in with the brush I used the black on, repigmenting any places where the yellow might have blended a little too low. Now I'm going to go back in with my Sigma Blending Brush, take a bit of the Cypress Umber on there and lightly blend. Now go back in with your gel eyeliner and follow along the line of the tape of the cat eye with this liner. That's going to make the wing on this cat eye really pop once we remove the tape. Go ahead and grab a smudge brush. Use that to smudge out that gel liner that we just put along the line of the tape. Dip more black eyeshadow onto your brush and pat that onto that gel liner that you just smudged out just to ensure that it stays set. Go ahead and remove those pieces of tape and you should have a nice clean line for your smoky eye. I'm taking my Sigma Small Angled E65 brush. I'll be dipping that back into the black. Make sure to bring this only into the inner area of your eyelid, so right where your pupil is. You don't want to close off your eye too much. Taking a fluffier brush, I'm going to go back into Cypress Umber, take a dab of that on my brush, and blend it in to my lower lash line. I'm going to be taking my dome brush, grab this light color here, and pack that into my inner corner as well. I'm then going to take a flat ended brush, I'm going to grab that same light color, and I'm going to put this right below my brow bone. Grab your gel liner again and get the bottom waterline with a black eyeliner as well. Take that smudge brush again and smudge that black line out just to blend it in a bit more with your eyeshadow. Since this is a pretty intense and dark eye look, I'm going to use some pretty intense lashes. So I have my Huda Beauty lashes in the style Lana number 10. I went ahead and did inner corner eyeliner just to make it a bit more dramatic, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm then going to be using my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara to blend in my natural lashes with 
my false lashes and then also to cover my lower lashes. And there you have it. There is the final look. I think this is a great technique. I really like how it worked out. I really do emphasize for you to do this before you do your foundation in case there is any fallout. But I really love how easy this was and I truly feel like anybody can follow along if they really are determined to get that perfect smoky eye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching my videos. Please subscribe if you wanna see future videos from me. I do makeup looks, costume makeup, and product reviews. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you watching my next video.